In this video, I'll show you that how you can add devices to the Cisco DNA center. Like uh, I'm going to add a Cisco switch 3850 series and I'll also add a 9300 switch with the Cisco DNA center. So let me show you. First of all, you should, uh, you should uh, check that the uh, device is supported or not with the Cisco DNA center. So what you have to do, go to any browser or search for the compatibility with DNA center. So DNA center compatibility matrix, all right? Now, new deployment or upgrade? We have a new deployment and let me show you the version of our DNA center is uh, about yeah, 1.3.3.9. So DNA center version is 1.3.3.9 device switch application like you know we have components we also have the features so the category of device is switch and applications for example choose all then submit new deployment 1.3.3.9 select device role fabric as for example all all right submit ice fabric as so you can see that cisco 385000 series switch and 36150 series switches are supported but please make sure the ios version should be 16.12.3 as well as we have the support of 9300 series switch as well with DNA center 1.3.3.9 so now let me take you to the DNA center again this is a DNA center now first of all I'll show you uh, my switch put T 192 2.13 Alright, so this is my switch. Show IP interface brief exclude unassigned. So you can see I have already configured an IP address on the switch 192.168.2.30. Alright, because uh, the switch must have an IP address and make sure that the switch is able to ping the DNA center. 192.168.2.100 is my DNA center. You can see here. 192.168.2.100 all right so the switch must be reachable to the dna center now you have to make some additional configuration on the switch as well prior to uh, provisioning the switch with the dna center so you must have to configure ssh snmp username and password with privilege level 15 all right read and write community of snmp as well so i've already uh, configured snmp let me show you so you're on pipe section snmp server sorry so you can see i've, I've configured version 2 all right so run pipe section snmp only so here you can see SNMP server community read only and read write right show run pipe section line vty SSH has been configured transponded put SSH now now go to Cisco DNA center go to provision and inventory you can see that the DNA center has support of routers, switches, AP and WLC. All right. So you can say add. Now, network device, compute device or Meraki device. So you have to select network device, IP address or DNS name. All right. But I haven't configured any DNS server for my Cisco 3850 switch. Otherwise, for example, uh, if you don't know the IP address of a switch, but you have an uh, fully qualified domain name for that switch 
So you have both the options IP address or DNS name, but I'm giving IP address 2.30. SNMP read community. All right. So like you can see here, C square the rate one two three, C square the rate one two three, and C square the rate three two one. C square the rate three two one. You can change the version as well, version two or version three. Version one is not supported with DNS Center. Okay. So please make sure that you have enabled version two or version three. If you if you choose version three, you also have to configure username and password. But for now, uh, we have configured version two. All right. SNMP retries and timeout. It will uh, perform three retries in every five seconds. Now CLI. SSH or Telnet. So I configured SSH. Username is admin. I've also configured a password on the switch. You can see. Show run pipe section username. Admin and the password. All right. So password is capital C I S U at the rate one two three. Enable password, which is uh, Cisco netconf. So the default port number you can give it eight thirty. We haven't configured HTTP yet or HTTPS. So leave it default without any username or password. Leave it and then add. So now you can see the device is added successfully. 192.168.1. Sorry, 2.13. Now you guys uh, will be surprised. Like, what is the meaning of unsupported? This is not available. But wait for a few seconds, and you'll see that the support type is supported, and you'll also see the host name of device here. Device is reachable. Device role will be updated soon. So just wait for a few seconds. Let me refresh. No difference here. Okay. Don't worry. Device name, device role, uptime will be updated soon. The DNS, uh, sorry, the DNS center is uh, trying to get more and more information from the switch. Show users. And you can also see that the switch is accessed through VTY lines from the DNS center. All right. Now you can see the device name is switch. Support type is supported. Reachability, MAC address, device role is access, image version, iOS image uh, version 16.12.8, uptime is 17 hours, last thing managed, last updated minutes ago, this is the serial number of the switch, alright, and the device series is 3850 series Ethernet stackable switch, means uh, this switch can be part of a stack as well. So now if I'll click on this switch, you can see here, 17 hours, 19 minutes, role is access. This is the iOS image, all right. So this is how you can add a switch with the Cisco DNA center. I can also add this, uh, my Catalyst 9300 series switch as well. See, IP address of that switch is uh, 2.17. I've made uh, the same configuration. All right. So admin capital C square at the rate one two three. Enable password is Cisco, and netcon port number is eight thirty. Add. All right.
SNMP community SSH configuration is uh, similar to the uh, 3850 series switch. The IP address is changed. You know that uh, IP address must be unique, right? So you can see again it is reachable 192.168.2.17 and other informations will be updated soon. So just wait and watch. See catalyst 9k assign switch and hubs device family all right and 9300 switches also be, can be configured as uh, like a wlc as well device role is access ios version is 16.12.3a uptime last updated serial number catalyst 19300 series switch and this is the platform so 3850 switch is having 48 ports a 9300 series, uh, series which is having 24 ports with 4 gig ports okay uplinks so now you can click on this and see here all right so this is how you can add switches with the dna center like you can see the site is uh, not assigned yet so what you can do here you can go to network hierarchy and you can add a site for example add area so i said uh, gurugram add then add building b9 sector 14 gurugram add and then i can also add the floor so gurugram b9 and then i am adding floor floor is third floor my office address gurugram b9 and third floor so the device can be located easily all right now go to provision you can see now you have two types of devices first is global and second is gurugram so right now the device is unassigned so I'm going to this site, choose a site and floor or building. All right. So I said, see, if you try to add it with an area, it will give a error. Device can only be assigned to building floor. All right. You cannot assign it to a area. So change it to B9 or third floor. So I said third floor. Now your uh, 9300 switch is moved to this Gurugram site. Okay. We have one more uh, unassigned device. So I'll assign it to the same site, third floor and save. Assign. So now you can see the 3850 switch and the catalyst 9300 switch added to this site b9 third floor gurugram all right if i click on router switches all right ap is wls still so if you click on all it will show you all type of devices if you want to categorize you can go to routers switches ap's WLs, all right. You can also check reachable or unreachable. So if I say switches reachable, reachability status is positive, unreachable, no data to display because we have added both uh, two switches and both of them are reachable.